All right, guys, here's another video to show you just how rigged MLB is. So today I decoded Tampa Bay Rays to beat Boston Red Sox, and they did. They were minus 118 to win, and they won the game 9-5, or a scoreline that can be seen as 5-9. I'll get to that later in the video. So check this out, guys, and tell me that baseball's not rigged. Tampa Bay Rays equals 43. As you can see here, 43. And if you look at the table, Boston got their 43rd loss of the season. Very interesting. And when you type in Rays, you get 63. And why is that important? Well, Tampa Bay Rays got their 63rd win of the season and Boston stayed on 63 wins. And the pitcher, the starting pitcher, for the Tampa Bay Rays, was born on 63 date numerology, as you can see here. That's this guy here. Ryan Yabra, born 31st of December 1991. You fucking kidding me, you cunt? Is it always quiet when I'm doing nothing? When I'm doing nothing, it's quiet. Fucking little dog. Fuck me off, man. All right, guys, here's another video to show you that Major League Baseball is completely rigged by the numbers. So today there was a game between Boston Red Sox and Tampa Bay Rays. Top of the table clash. And I said I like Tampa Bay to win this. Tampa Bay Rays are minus 118 to win. And they did win it, guys. They won the game 9-5. And this score can be seen as 5-9. And I'll get to that later in the decode. So check this out. Rays equals 63. Rays got their 63rd win of the season today and kept Boston on 63 wins. And when you type in Tampa Bay Rays, the full name of their organization, you get 43. And look how Boston got their 43rd loss of the season. This game was played on 43 date numerology, guys, and 14. And 43 is the 14th prime, completely rigged. And Tampa's starting pitcher, this guy, Ryan Yabra, the guy who was born on December the 31st, 1991. Well, he was born on 63 date numerology. And you see here, Tampa got their 63rd win of the season. Boston stayed on 63 wins for the season. Stuff's not by accident. It's all ritual, the pitchers they choose. So Tampa Bay Rays equals 43, Florida equals 43, Boston got their 43rd loss of the season on 43 date numerology. The Tampa Bay head coach is 43 years old. And like I said, there's also 14 date numerology and 43 is the 14th prime. And it was the Boston coach's 430th game as a head coach 
like 43. So, so ritualistic, guys. Tampa Bay Rays gets you 182, and it's not updated yet, but they got their 182nd all-time win versus Boston Red Sox. Okay? 182 now. And Tampa Bay Rays equals 182. Undeniable stuff. It really is. So the game was played on 79 date numerology, as you can see here. And check this out. Tampa Bay gets you 79. But also look at this, guys. It's played on 59 date numerology. And the score finished 5-9. Again, I'm just going to keep working hard to bring these sports down i'm getting better every day at this and bring on the premier league the nfl i tell you within a few years i don't think there'll be professional sports because more and more people are going to see how rigged they are and i'm going to work as hard as anybody to show people how rigged they are and win some money along the way so tampa bay equals 137 as you can see here and 137 is the 33rd prime and if we go to the table here see Tampa Bay got their 33rd home win of the season 33rd home win of the season let me continue so the game took place on a day leaving 153 days left in the year which is a huge number associated with the Jesuit order Huge number, guys. And the game was 153 days before Tampa Bay starting pitcher's upcoming birthday. Absolutely insane stuff. Well, first of all, look how he was born on 153 date numerology pure for a start. And look at this. And then if we put 2021, look, 153 days. This stuff's incredible, what I find, and undeniable. Absolutely incredible, honestly, and more people need to learn this. They really do. You'll learn so much about this matrix we live in. And when you type in 63, look what you get. See how both teams now have 63 wins for the season? When you type in 63, you get 153. Insane, and just know that baseball equals 54 and two ciphers. Look. And I barely know anything about baseball, guys. I've only started decoding it this year, and the amount of games I've called perfectly has been ridiculous. Do you call them all? No, but when I call them, I call them pretty much perfectly. So today is the anniversary of Ignatius of Loyola's death day, the guy who discovered the Society of Jesus. See it here, he died July the 31st, 1556, in Rome, Italy, of course. So I knew he would be involved, and he was. He was because Jesuit order gets you 153. Again, it also gets you 54, like baseball. And check this out. The picture for the Red Sox was the number 17 jersey. And just know that 59 is the 17th prime. Like how the game was played on 59 date numerology. How the score finished. 5-9. It's absolutely insane. And 153, guys, like the game was played with 153 days left in the year. 153 is the 17th triangular number. You see this? And the Rays, they stayed on 107 all-time losses at home to the Red Sox. For another 17. The Red Sox pitcher for another 59, guys. He stayed on 59 wins in his career. The guy who wears the 17 shirt, 59, the 17th prime. Absolutely wild.
And look at this, by the way. I've just seen this now in the corner of my eye. It was born 213. 213. Isn't that when Super Bowl 56 is going to be? Pretty sure of it. And Pope Francis, his name, guys. You want another 59? Not that we need any more. Pope Francis, 59. And he became the Pope in 2013. Like 213. Tampa Bay Rays, guys, gets you 74. Just insane stuff, this. Because look at all these 74s that I decoded. Tampa Bay Rays, 74. The starting picture just went 7 and 4. It's not updated yet. But he just went 7 and 4 for 2021. My word. Just outrageous. And there's more. So the anniversary of Ignatius of Loyola's birthday has 74 date numerals, you guys. And I've already discussed him. The Boston Red Sox coach was born on a day, leaving 74 days left in the year. And like I said, the pitcher went 7-4 and four for the season. And guys, his name. His name equals 74. Tampa Bay Rays, 74. Ryan Yabra, 74, and he just went 7-4 and four for the season with the win. Ryan Yabra also equals 173. And the game was 173 days after the three-year anniversary of his MLB debut. By the way, number 59 came in and pitched for Tampa Bay, and then he went out with an injury, number 59, I started laughing. This is the stuff you can see through. You can see the rituals when you learn this knowledge. And you won't learn it in a few weeks, you have to put in the graft. A lot of people try to learn it for a few weeks, then give up. But number 59 came in and pitched, and he got injured, and he got took out of the game. And who ended it for Tampa? Number 15. And why is that important? Because this was Tampa's 105th game of the season. And Tampa gets you 15. Tampa Bay gets you 47. 47, the 15th prime. Closing pitcher wearing number 15. Like, come on. How many more rituals do you want? And Ignatius of Loyola's death was exactly 465 years ago. So he died July the 31st, 1556. 465 years. And 465 is the 30th triangular number. And look at this. Boston stayed on 30 away wins. So there you have it, guys. What an absolutely perfect decode. Pretty much everything I said would happen, happened. And in play, all the numbers came about. Undeniable. Just simply undeniable. And by the way, I would not be shocked. I'll have to do a deep decode. But if you know anything about skull and bones, guys... Boston lose against Tampa in the next game. They're going to go 30-22 away. 3-2-2, the skull and bones number. Okay, it's not a coincidence that currently Tampa Bay are 3-2-2, 30-22 away. It's not a coincidence. 3-2-2 connected to skull and bones. So we'll see what happens there. It'll be very, very interesting. But there you have it, guys. Tampa Bay Rays win. Get the 63rd win of the season. Boston stay on 63 wins. Game was in Tampa Bay, Florida, which equals 63. Undeniable knowledge. And by the way, if you wanted to sign up this month, 
just put up a decode, the Gold Cup final that takes place tomorrow between Mexico and the United States. I'm really confident. I was working on it with a really good decoder called Bryant. It's probably one of the best decodes I've done. Hopefully it hits. And thanks a lot for supporting my work. I hope one day you can all learn how to do this yourself because the more of us that see it, the more chance we have of bringing these people down.